So welcome back, guys. This is episode four of IS Gen Talk. So I am Anil Jain from second year Avionics branch, and we have. And I am Jyoti Mahala, second year Aerospace branch. So in this video, we will be covering some more questions regarding IS Gen. And if you have not watched the previous episodes, then do watch them. A uh, link will be in the description. So let's begin with the video. So Ankit, can you tell about how to prepare for JE Advance? Uh, hi, I am Ankit from uh, Avionics branch, second year. Yeah. So as for tips are concerned, uh, the most important one is don't ask for it, and please don't search for tips on Quora and YouTube asking uh, how to get rank under 500 and all. These are all uh, like fake kind of thing. They don't really help. Devise your own methods because everyone is different, right? It is not a machine that you can uh, input some instructions and raw material to get a finished product. Um, but I would say that don't uh, fall for some common mistakes. You should know some mistakes which are general, um, and don't leave any part of syllabus if you have time. If you don't have time, then do leave some topics. Focus on your strong points. Try to keep your concepts clear. and don't start a topic just few days before the exam and practice has no substitute in our field je is all about practice so practice every day and give it your best shots perhaps the things will unfold themselves thank you ankit so prasad please tell about what are the medical facilities inside the campus of iist so regarding the medical facilities uh, there is a, a small clinic out there in the campus uh, where there is a basic doctor who can provide a basic facilities actually there are, there are two doctors to be precise uh, if you have small illnesses like cold fever or headache or stomach ache vomiting things like that then you can just contact them they are uh, their phone numbers are given to everyone so you can just call them and ask for the medicines and the medicines uh, for these things are basically free inside the campus if there is some emergency there is also a uh, ambulance there in the campus which can take you to the nearby hospital and uh, there is something called as the insurance for uh, medical aids uh, there are basic details regarding it uh, that you will get to know when you get into the campus actually and uh, that's all So Satya Priya please tell about what are the courses in dual degree and their scope in future So hello everyone I am Satya Priya Das and I am pursuing dual degree uh, from IIST as you know So as according to the question you want to know that what are the scope and uh, how is the course and all that So listen carefully what is there is that uh, it's a 5 year uh, dual degree course which is divided into 3 plus 2 format so in uh, 3 years you will first do the uh, winter course in engineering physics in which you will cover a lot about all the basic uh, concepts of physics in all of the fields uh, like in mechanics in uh, quantum mechanics in relativity and um, in optics in semiconductor in everything you will just cover literally everything which you can thought of okay so uh, like this uh, you will complete all of the things in the 3 years after that in the 2 uh, years you will do the specialization in terms of masters so that you will write your master thesis uh, like for one year you will learn and in the second year you will uh, write about your master thesis so in that uh, the uh, these are the following options which you have one is the solid state physics another is earth system science another is astronomy and astrophysics the last one is optical engineering so these are the following uh, branches which you can uh, like uh, pursue further and uh, there is also no such kind of uh, too much tough competition because uh, as you can see there are only 20 students and um, like four is the minimum number of students which each branch have to take so you can get it easily whatever you want just you have to maintain a decent so that's all right and now what is the further scope for uh, like in terms of job opportunities uh, so let's start with the solid state so what happen is that in the uh, in solid state there 
it's an emerging field it was still uh, in the use it was uh, earlier also useful and uh, further now in the future it's uh, still useful how because as you know the quantum computing is emerging so uh, like quantum computing is one of the most important field which you can think of like quantum computing and ai will go hand in hand so that's why quantum computing is like too much uh, important nowadays so it will definitely grow exponentially another thing is the nano electric device design as you can see in the uh, in the modern times the nano technology is growing and everything is uh, becoming more and more smaller so nano electric devices are uh, also an emerging field and also sensors as you know semiconductor devices right so all these will be covered in the solid state these kind of job opportunities you can get and the next one is earth system science so what you can get in this like you you will study all about the atmosphere oceans how the earth actually work right so you can become atmosphere scientist geologist and uh, you will you can do the surveying survey and mapping like as you know na that uh, there is a lot of fields like agriculture defense and uh, climate so all this thing require mapping and all that so for that surveying and mapping is important and who can do that do this you you are the only one na so in this you can uh, get these kind of job opportunities and if you per- pursue astronomy and astrophysics then uh, these are like two kind of options which you have one is you will go in the observation field so in the observation field as you know you have a uh, foreign opportunities also and also in india let's talk about uh, indian uh, opportunities which will get right so there are eight observatories in india like major so one of the biggest one is the indian astronomical observatory iao in ladakh and uh, another which you can think about is giravali observatory of iuca etc etc so there are a lot of observatories so you can like observe and collect data so if uh, like as you if you are pursuing this because uh, you are only pursuing this now because you are interested in observing and raising those stars and all that so you will get a uh, if, uh, this is one of the best thing which you will get so this is it all about uh, the observation field and uh, other thing which you can get is like the in the theoretical and uh, in a uh, bit research type so you can get uh, Uh, one of the opportunity in prl physics research laboratory in ahmedabad uh, like in the iist placement uh, the placement also take place of uh, uh, that prl also so this is also good opportunity so uh, if you if you are want to pursue further in astronomy and astrophysics so there are iuca and um, IIA Indian Institute of Astrophysics from these you can pursue further and like uh, grow further so this is all about astronomy and astrophysics and the last one is optical engineering as you all know that uh, optical engineering is one of that field uh, which is required in almost a lot of uh, different sectors like defense security in optical design and sensors uh medical research as you know na and uh, spectroscopy and uh, etc etc so there are a lot of uh, fields uh, there are uh, research opportunities and working areas working expertise you can expect of all these you can do if you pursue uh, optical engineering and uh, i would like to conclude with this fact that isro and drdo are all these uh, government organizations are always there So yeah, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Satyapriya. Thank you, Prasad, Ankit, Shubham, and Satyapriya for participating in this video. So we both will be bringing some more videos on this series. So please subscribe to both of our channels and like and share this video.